using manual temperature compensation in PCDMIS. If you have a very long machine or very long parts to measure or the temperature in your lab fluctuates, you may consider inserting manual temperature compensation inside your PCDMIS program. And we'll find it, parameter change, temperature compensation. This is what the temperature compensation dialog looks like inside of PCDMIS. You'll notice right away we have an area to input the material coefficient for the part, for the qualification tool, and for the X, Y, and Z axes. We also have some reference temperatures that we can input. These temperatures are normally 20 degrees Celsius. The material coefficient values you can get from either the Internet or the Machinist Handbook. Now for the X, Y, and the Z axes, the material coefficient will be de dependent on the machine type that you have. So you'll need to contact us and we can give you the correct coefficient for your machine. In order to use this dialog, just fill in these coefficients and select OK. When you run your PCDMIS part program, PCDMIS will display the temperature compensation setup dialog once again, and all you need to do is input the current temperature. This should be accurate to within half a degree, and all your results will now be temperature compensated. If you've got a large part program that takes an hour or two to run, you may consider having additional temperature compensation dialogues embedded in portions of your program.